How Venus in Capricorn shows up in Lori Harvey's beauty and fashion. A look at her feminine power and irresistibility. Hi, beautiful people. It's your girl, Karina. Welcome back to the channel. I have a special video for you guys today. We are going to journey into the irresistible world of Lori Harvey. Okay, so on my channel, we do astrology, we do esoteric occult knowledge. So we're looking at this from a very specific point of view. We're looking at her birth chart. We're looking at her planets, where her planets sit in her birth chart. And specifically, we're looking at the planet Venus. Venus in Capricorn. Venus in Capricorn. Capricorn is a business sign. It is a cliche look. For a lot of Venus and Capricorns to wear full suits, whether they are tailored suits, pinstripe suits, um, handmade suits, button up suits, leather suits, skinny strap suits, or they put together their clothing so it looks like it's one full garment, one full uniform, or one full attire. And that's because Venus and Capricorn are enchanting executives, okay? Their Saturnian energy is all about gaining respect and being at a high caliber when it comes to the beauty. Capricorn rules over the bone structure of the body. And so because of that, suits help to craft the skeleton of the body. It helps to craft the perfect structure, especially when we're looking at the arms, tuck or nip in the waist, and then under the waist, play around with wearing nothing or wearing, you know, bras um, or some sort of camisole under the suits. Usually the suits are one color suits that are ranging in neutral to earthy tones, okay? That's because we're dealing with earth energy. Earth energy likes things very simple. Usually it's not a lot of multicolored patterns unless we're finding other aspects um, to their Venus, which we'll talk about soon. So you'll see here that Lori Harvey, she embodies these suits in a lot of her red carpet looks. And even when I looked up streetwear on Pinterest um, for Lori Harvey, yes, I did find some um, sweats, but everything is still like a fully put together look. And um, you'll see that the colors are very monotonous, which is like all black or all green, or all tan all olive right and you'll see that the colors are also very earthy very practical very neutral types of colors um you know we could go for a bright lime green but you're not going to see her do that very often um, because her earth-like energy is going to want a more muted looks more like you know the real green that shows up in plants and grass so i wanted to bring you guys to this idea that Venus in Capricorn can sometimes be late bloomers, okay? Um, so maybe early in, earlier in life, they may not understand how to embody their sensuality, or they just may feel a little harsh, a little bit colder, not as soft, you know, or not as feminine even. Um, this can happen a lot. Um, so with Venus and Capricorn, as they grow more into their bodies, more into their spirits, they embody and bloom even more their feminine powers. OK, so I feel like this could be a theory that um, she has had her own um, journey and she's continuing to do so. Um, and the more that you deal with Capricorn energy and Venus energy together, you, you actually can see fountain of youth and beauty actually happen over time because Saturn restricts it from the beginning. There's a lot of lessons, a lot of mistakes to be learned, but then once they get it, it becomes exquisite, right? So earth energy typically is going to be very simplified. Um, in Capricorn, it's all over the top simplified, okay? In Venus and Capricorn, there's less patterns you're gonna find just simple, basic, blocked colors in their wardrobe, not trying to make things look too busy at all, okay? And um, the, the main color for Venus and Capricorn will be black because Saturn, which is um, the planetary ruler of Capricorn, is a black 
color, right? So right. Venus and Capricorn often, the, the go-to color is black. Now when it comes to hair, hair is also very basic and usually it's, it's about being simple and straight or um, not too fluffy, right? So in Capricorn energy, it's very, very sharp. So it's very possible that they just don't want to portray a softer look as much because uh, they want to be respected. And in today's society, there's a certain look that gets that attention. Hair is pulled up to the top in a tight bun where you can see a little bit of wisps. But, uh, or straight bangs are very big with Venus Capricorn. Um, and the makeup is usually very subtle, but natural, but perfected. They also won't wear a lot of jewelry. They'll wear like little pieces of jewelry, but not nothing too big, nothing too gaudy. Now going back to the hair. Now the other thing that I want to say, which actually could be something to watch out for, is like issues with hairline, but with like the hairline. These things are possible with Saturnian energy and beauty. So um, if you have a Venus and Capricorn, those are things that you might want to start looking into as well, because sometimes you may deal with thinning hair or thinning hairlines with Saturnian energy. So that's something that I really wanted to make be known. With Venus and Capricorn, a perfectly taut bun. You see that in this picture. You'll also see that it's a choice to be straight because straight is edgier and it has a, um, an energy of less softness. So straight hair feels more striking. That's a big um, idea for Saturnian energy. So you'll see that she mainly rocks her hair straight. But now when she has the body to the hair, you see that she does not go too long. Capricorn is an energy of restriction. So this very, very long hair type of look is not something that you're going to see her use very often. It's either going to be above the shoulders or right at the shoulders, um, but nothing like bra strap length or anything by the waist, like which is a big trend of today. But it actually helps her to stand out, especially because it is a trend of today. But at the same time, it's just naturally way more beautiful when you're incorporating Saturnian and Capricorn energy into your Venus blueprint to have straight hair that's not too long. It gives a very executive look, similar to Michelle Obama. It has a very presidential executive look. And that is your Venus in Capricorn blueprint. Simple, classy, striking, prestigious sophisticated executive now here's another cool thing that i want to talk to you guys about now let's say you have celebrity influencers that you really enjoy their um fashion beauty choices okay now what you can actually do is integrate their energies into yours so lori harvey has a venus in capricorn right i have capricorn in my fourth house so if you if i was to embody the energy the look and the style of Lori Harvey, not only would it help me to amp up my reputation, but it specifically would help me to feel emotionally stable, emotionally um, uh, fulfilled in many ways. Um, I would probably dominate and attract great pleasures into the household, which be, would be into the family dynamics. So utilizing these celebrity um fashions can help you to see okay even if you don't have their placements you can dress like them embody them and that will affect a certain area of your life that could or amp up a certain area of your life it can help you to feel more confident and more attractive in a certain area of your life giving you pleasures money and love abundance and sensuality okay you guys so we're going to take a look at Lori harvey's venus in her birth chart now, we've already discussed Venus and Capricorn, but I want to show you your Venus blueprint. And we can use Lori Harvey's chart to show you what the blueprint is. Okay. So you'll see here that her Venus right here is in the sign of Capricorn. What we need to do is to discover her irresistibility. So what is her irresistibility? Well, irresistible. The term irresistible is based off of the idea of resisting something, okay? And in order to unlock irresistibility with your Venus, you have to discover what is it that Venus is resisting. 
So how do we discover that in astrology? We look at the aspects to Venus that are in these red lines here, right? Because um, in astrology, we can discover that there's certain um, challenges that are happening to your Venus. When you discover what those challenges are, you can incorporate them into your fashion and beauty. This is because irresistibility is about incorporating what is resist resisting, right? So if you look at where it is that you're challenged and incorporate those concepts, then you can unlock an even stronger irresistibility when it comes to your beauty and fashion. So that's the theory that I have with my Venus placements and your Venus blueprint, okay? So let's take a look at Lori Harvey's Venus placements. Now you'll see here that her Venus squares Mars, okay? So that's a real challenge with sexuality um, and having to understand those themes and sensuality, right? They're in a challenge with one another. But also she squares Saturn, also, her Venus squares the North Node. So Mars, Saturn, and the North Node. So we can look at where her Mars, Saturn, and Saturn, and North Node is. You'll see here that here's where Mars is. Mars is in Libra. You'll see here that Saturn is in Aries. And her North Node is also in Libra right next to Mars. So the blueprint is incorporating Mars and Libra, North Node and Libra, and incorporating Saturn in Aries. Well, one thing that she already has manifested is incorporating Saturn because she uses a lot of Saturnian um, clothing and um, structure in order to portray her beauty. Her Venus is in a Saturn rule sign. So her Saturn energy is on point. Her Mars energy in Libra is probably where we can discover even more um, things to unlock about her, which be would be incorporating more florals, incorporating more um, dainty uh, jewelry, incorporating more symmetry, wearing more wave or curlier hair right? Because those are the concepts of Libra. Now, if you want to know more about how to incorporate Libra Venus, check out my Venus, how to be irresistible Venus and Libra video, which I'll link here. So if she incorporated more of her Libra Venus beauty, then um, the irresistibility would be even more um, higher because we are um, integrating her challenging aspects to her Venus. Now, some of you who understand these aspects, things might be asking, well, why wouldn't you incorporate what she naturally is in harmony to? Well, that's because like, let's say if Venus is trying something, that's a more harmonious, um, you know, aspect. Well, that any trines or any sextiles to your Venus you are going to naturally incorporate that. That's not the part that you're resisting. So we're trying to amp up your irresistibility. That's why we look at harsher aspects. And that is a look into her chart. Now, her blueprint could be even deeper if I knew her exact birth time. Because we could see how her Venus wants to be executed and what house it wants to be executed. So um, that's the only thing that I don't have here. But I would say that if you want to gain your blueprint, your Venus blueprint, then check out um, the link below to my Patreon. It is a free post that I have available for you to learn your Venus blueprint. Okay, you don't have to sign up for Patreon, though if you want to sign up, then you're more than welcome to. But I have there the blueprint so you can begin unlocking your Venus um, energy. You can also join my Facebook group how to be irresistible, the Venus group, because in there I have a lot of exercises for you to unlock your Venus, you know, irresistibility. Okay. And that link is also down below. So that is her Venus placement. And that's how we look at how Venus is working in the chart to amp up your beauty and fashion. So Venus is your blueprint to your irresistibility. 
where Venus is in your chart speaks about your beauty and fashion choices. Now, some of us have a tendency to embody Venus and we just naturally um, put, output and execute the best version of our Venus. But some of us, we need a little bit of a push. We need a little bit of help to really understand this Venusian energy. So I want to show you guys how I try to embody um, the Lori Harvey look today. Um, and this is my version of that with what I had at my disposal. So this is my Lori Harvey look. So here is my attempt to emulate and imitate uh, the Lori Harvey Venus and Capricorn look. I actually do like how my hair came out, but it actually is too fluffy uh, for this type of look. So you see, I'm trying to press it down because we want it to be sharper. If you want to embody Venus and Capricorn energy, face yoga. Okay, I stumbled across it um, a few months back, and I think it's fantastic. And in fact, it actually um, works out the muscles of the face. Also with Capricorn, because it's about um, sharpening the muscles and um, showing more of the skeletal system. Because like I said, Capricorn energy is you know, the skeletons and it's the skin. So definitely check that out. And also you got to work on your skin. You got to take care of your skin. You got to, um, it's, it's more of a deeper level in understanding what you need in order to be, um, stable with your skincare. So everything with this energy is about working hard to gain that reward of beauty and sensuality. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please let me know if you would like for me to do another blueprint of a person that you love and adore. We can look at their natal chart and break it down as we did in this video. So comment below if you have a recommendation for another feminine power, Venus irresistibility blueprint. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and love.